I chose international relations because I had just studied abroad and I wanted to mix my enthusiasm for politics and the club component with Model UN. It were the clubs that we saw for um, the Pi Sigma Alpha, where a student at Chico State could get involved at such a local but also national level. And it didn't feel like I was swimming in a sea with a bunch of students. I felt like I got individualized attention from all of my teachers, Model United Nations, um, speech and debate, even just practicing different like moot court ideas where you and your cohort get so comfortable with public speaking, it started to set me apart from the rest when I started doing interviews or started doing research components. Um, all of those things made me want to choose international relations. And so those things took my scope from being very small and domestic to just really understand what was happening in the news, which sounds silly, like you read the news and you can basically understand it. But after studying international relations, I felt like I knew the why behind things because I had studied the history. I'd looked at the politics and how it had moved over decades. And it made me feel like I was a piece of everything else that was going on. Yeah, I think by far, it was my first ever conference with um, Model United Nations. It was something that I had never heard of before I came to college and thought like, sure, this just seems like a club for a bunch of like really nerdy people into politics. Um, and really what it became was a group of people really invested in looking into research where you got to research a country, you prepared a speech, you learned how to basically negotiate with other people representing as countries. and. When I got my first assignment, we went out and I got put on the Security Council. And that was like a big deal when you were in the club that you were on the Security Council and you had to have really good public speaking. And so I remember being really nervous and like, I don't know if I know what I'm doing, but our first ever conference out there, I went out and just, you know, used those public speaking skills. Um, and I won an award for our group for um, the top delegate, which basically you get from being a good negotiator and a public speaker. And it took me back like, wow, I, that's something I could do. We were surrounded by all kinds of other schools that, you know, there were really good names, good schools. And here was Chico State standing at the top with by far the most awards. Um, I took the skills I knew I got, which was public speaking, negotiation, um, and research. And I knew that those were things I was really good at. And then talking with faculty, um, they posed the idea of, hey, have you ever thought about Teach for America? And the idea got presented right about the springtime of my senior year. I never thought about teaching. Um, I didn't really know what the program was. And then as I kind of looked into it, I thought like, this is it, as I looked into more of education policy. And so I applied for Teach for America, had a faculty member prep with me. We walked through the interview. I had to go to Sacramento. Uh, I was in a room filled with people from Berkeley and Davis and Stanford. And I remember saying my school and kind of feeling like, like I was at a state school. Um, but I remember what faculty had prepped me for. And like, you are here, you belong here. And after leaving that interview, I remember feeling like I, I did that and I felt good about it. And I saw everyone else in the room and I could feel that I held a different expectation, especially with my public speaking. Um, I got into Teach for America. I got my placement in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I packed all my things, moved out here. I got my placement school. I started with kindergarten. And so for two years, I taught kindergarten at a school that was also founded by a Teach for America um, alumni. I stayed there for two years, and after two years, I didn't want to leave. Um, a lot of my job revolves around my why and why I got into education and why I want to expand it eventually to education policy. And seeing every day my why just walks through the door. Every single kid that comes in through that door just brings that life, like this is why I'm doing it. So I decided to stay. I've now stayed on another year. I work as a new teacher coach, an intervention teacher. Um, since then, I have jumped on the Teach for America alumni board and I've worked with them to change the direction of the region. I joined a Teach Plus policy fellowship where we advocate for different policy and things that are going to affect teachers directly in the classroom. And so even though I'm still in the classroom, that work and research I learned at Chico State has taken my application to a much higher level and it's distinct. It feels easy, it feels natural. When I do research, I know what the quality should look like. And that trajectory has taken me to now start to apply for grad schools as I look to go higher in administration and continue to work in education policy.